Hello, everyone. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are doing well. I pray you are continuing or starting to fight against the devil, the demons, which I think that is a very big part of life, at least for my life it is. So much, uh, quite a bit of spiritual warfare. Okay, let's say you are a Christian and you have been praying about something. From what you see, from what you see, you may think the enemy is winning. From what you see. But how do you know the enemy is winning? How do you know demons are winning? If you mainly go based upon what you see. Hmm. You may say to me, Kevin, since I see it, that proves I know it. But this life is composed of the spiritual as well. So can you see all of the spiritual? I know I can't. So if you can't see all of the spiritual, you are praying, you are fasting, you are seeking God, but from what you see, it seems like things are getting worse. But how do you know? As I speak now, I feel that sensation around here and I think towards my back area as well. But how do you know the enemy is winning? You don't even have all the information. Let's say there is a problem and you only know 2% of the problem. Now, if you only know 2% of the problem, like, how can you judge it? <laughs> I know <laughs> out of 100%, I only know 2% of what is going on. But from my 2%, let me give you my ignorant opinion or my ignorant, I guess that is good to say, opinion. I hope this is making sense. When it comes down to things of God, it's not so much about what you are able to see. Now, I think some people can see in the spirit world, <clears throat> you know, I don't think there is someone who can see everything in the spirit world. I may be wrong about that, but even if you can see in the spirit world, can you see everything? I believe you still won't know everything because only God knows everything. So if we don't know everything, if the Bible says that we need to use faith when we pray and stuff like that, right? So if we have to do all of that, why are we mainly going by our sight? Our sight can fool us, can it? Like, for instance, haven't you seen something and assumed that, hey, um, from what I see, I believe this and that, this and that is going on. Now, haven't you been wrong at times? I know I have been. Have you? 
Probably so. So if you have been wrong, isn't it a chance that you are wrong now about what you are praying for? Well, I see it. Yeah, but you saw that other thing and concluded something, but learned that you were wrong. So if you were wrong then, can't you be wrong now? I know for myself, I am praying for something. And from what I see alone, what I see alone, a person may say, Kevin, you might as well stop praying. It is not going to work. You know, you are wasting your time. No, I can't go by what I see. I have to go by the word of God. Am I saying I am perfect? Am I saying I am 100% Christ-like? I am not saying that. But I believe living for Jesus Christ is a growing process. I don't know everything. There are things I am ignorant to. So let me try to do what the Bible says. If I don't understand particular things, let me ask people who may have more wisdom than me in a particular area or more wisdom in general. And let me do what is right. Stop always going by your sight. Your sight can fool you. I believe the enemy can fool us by our sight. Like, for instance, demons are probably saying, hey, let us discourage Susie, Jimmy, Johnny, Kevin, uh, this person and that person. Let us discourage those people and more by making it seem like their prayers and fasting is doing nothing. Let us show those people in more some bad things to discourage them to stop praying, to stop fasting, to stop seeking God. Oh man. But if you are like, hey, I don't care what I see. I don't care what evidence, earthly evidence I receive, I am going to be stubborn, as in I am not going to stop praying, I am not going to stop seeking God, I am going to continue on doing what is right until I get what I want. What can the enemy do then? What can demons do then? They would be, I would say, at a loss. What can they do? Because no matter what they show you, you are not swayed by it. Right? They can show you so much evidence that may make it seem, seem like what you are doing is not working. But as long as you stay patient, as long as you stay steadfast, as long as you continue on doing what you have to, what can demons do? Yes, they may come in your dreams and do mess and you may make sounds in your house and all that mess like that. But if you just do that, like, hey, nothing is going to sway me. I am going to put my blinders on, looking straight upon Jesus Christ. Yes, some mess is going on over here. Some mess is going on over here. Whatever, I am going to keep going straight and doing what I have to, to get things done right. What can the enemy do? Because every time when they are trying to show you evidence that it is not working, 
you are not moved by it. Uh, <laughs> I believe I am saying something right here. This is how we need to be. We need to be stubborn in faith. There is something that happened to me, and I speak about this. I spoke about this more than one time. Not going to go really deep in detail. And I believe the enemy was showing me all type of evidence that I am not going to get what I want. You know, I, you know, I believe demons were using people to try to, which I it did at a time, try to decrease my faith. Then it got to the point, stop listening to people. If, if God has confirmed to you something, and if you go and tell people, and if they still disagree with it, Stop listening to them. Anyways, it took maybe two years for me to get what I wanted. Like going through stress and anxiety a bit. Uh, anxiety. Off and on, yeah. Let me say anxiety off and on, stress off and on, but trying to stay calm and seeking God and stuff like that. I got what I wanted in two years. Now, it took longer than what I thought. I thought it was going to take maybe, I guess, a month or some months. I thought it was going to be shorter than what it was. Why was it two years? Who knows? But it took two years. At first, you know, like I said, um, at first, let me say it, try to say it right. At first, um, I probably did not know let me say it in this way. I believe I received confirmation to do particular things, I guess. Then some people were trying to discourage me from it. Then I was trying to keep strong in my faith, but particular people, or maybe I should say a person, was trying to discourage me from it. Then it got to the point where, like, I just let people talk. Like, hey, um, there is really no point in me really trying to explain to you if you are not going to receive it. So just talk. And I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and I got what I wanted. I waited longer than... I thought I had to, but that is what it is. I believe I explained that pretty well, I guess. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I believe I received so much information that my prayer was not going to be answered. I believe demons were showing me this went on for like maybe two years or more. I believe under three years, but around two years or more. I think I was shown so much information, but I was seeking God, and I believe God confirmed something to me more than one time. He probably confirmed stuff to me maybe five or six or more times because 
Like I was really seeking him for what was going on. Maybe he, well, I was praying to God about it. So I believe he was giving me confirmations. There were probably other reasons why he was giving me confirmations, but me praying to him was probably one of the reasons. So, I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless you.